All right, so today's stage, although Tom Pickock may get all the plaudits for the day, the boys who in the GC bunch, wow, 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 they climbed outrageously quick, like ridiculous. I've never seen anything like it in my, like really ever up out the west because I'm not old enough to watch the, uh, the good old dopers. So anyway, obviously time gap's not crazy, but the thing that is crazy is what Bardet is going to comment on because Bardet is a man who I'm a big fan of and, uh, I can't understand all of it, but one minute, more than one minute, 20 seconds faster than in 2018. And there were three, welcome to 2022. Um, that bit, you know, obviously he's just saying it's ridiculous. The speed is crazy now. People climbing so much faster. Uh, why is that? Uh, I really want to know. Like, obviously there's the, there's the elephant in the room. Is it that everyone has found something new uh, to take? Um, you know, maybe it is. Is it anything more legitimate? Is it actually nutrition? Is it actually sports science? Is it actually equipment? I don't know. I mean, it seems pretty sus to me. But anyway, Sepkus 38.34, Roman Bardet 38.48. We'll go to Sepkus in a bit. Um, now, Amarita Poli is a man who knows a lot about climbing. Follow him on Twitter. And you can see here some of the fastest times. So, you know, Poggy, Vingegaard, Thomas, same time as like Mayo, Sastra, crazy. Like, before today, like, there were only the top, the like, sub-40 was basically Nido Man. You think even Adam Yates beat Nido Man from 2013, and that was a pretty explosive Nido Man. Uh, Nido Man 39-22, so you can see Kuss and Mass both beat him. Okay, Bardet a little bit off, but you think how much time Quintana put into Froome Dog that day. It's just crazy, and then we look at the, the number of people going sub-40. You can see 1995, 1997, we all know what was going on then. There was a five or nine people. And then 2004, again, like 11 people, but that was a TT, so harder to say. But these, you know, two, one, and today is seven. is crazy. Like, it's absolutely bonkers. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll get to the what's peculiar. Sorry, that was my ride. Uh, not as interesting, unfortunately. I am on holiday, so maybe more interesting. Uh, so set because I think this is the most ridiculous thing, though, is that, like, he's a domestique and is, is doing ridiculous what's. Um, anyway, it was a hard day yesterday, obviously. Today, first climb five was peculiar for an hour, decent, um, but up to altitude, it's like decent, 5.1, okay, he's not in the front, but even so, that's what GC boys would be, quite a la fair, or uh, Col de la Croix de Fer is like up and down all day, again, another 4.8 was peculiar, so like decent, nothing crazy, you can see like 4.9 here, um, but the last bet was written at like 1500 VAM, yeah, so 1600 VAM, and it was written like 5.7 for 20, so that's decent, like that's gonna definitely knack of the legs out it is like 160k stage so maybe not the longest you look at this part it's pretty chill until the valley where it gets a bit more spicy um and that's just the last climb and he does 6.1 was peculiar for 39 minutes which is pretty pretty nuclear to be honest because and you might say okay charlie maybe it's not you know people did prata de tiro 6.3 is what poggy did you know 6.3 we've seen a lot but it's in the tour it's in the heat it was hot today like hot 33 degrees on the Garmin, maybe maybe a little bit cold in real life, but even so, hard stage yesterday, hard stage today, it's actually ridiculous, like 6.1. Now, the only thing that makes me think it's not just everyone finding something new is the pacing. So if we look at Sepp Kuss, um, his peak five minutes is 400 watts, and that's when he whacked it on the front, and you can see here, 400 watts, 6.6 .6 watts per kilo, 22k an hour, you know, 8% 22k an hour, the boys are sitting in on a big draft. So that's my only thought is that like what back in the days when they got some crazy times, they were mainly solo. While here, there was a lot of not solo. Like they were basically getting paced the whole way. So you think the bottom half of the climb, I reckon before that, when Kuss was on the wheel, like he's definitely getting a bit of a draft, like 6.1. Um, and they're, they're obviously doing more than that on the front because otherwise they wouldn't, they wouldn't blow up and people would attack. So... I think it's more like the last part, though, is interesting that actually, like, they definitely, he was riding just at steady 5.8 and catching up. So you can see it's like a steady pace 6.1 and then they attack across, uh, well, attack and then chase each other and look at each other and all the rest of it. But anyway, that's my only real, that's my, my, my thoughts. But, you know, it's pretty crazy performances day after day after day in the tour. Poggy looked good, like, definitely not too cracked, which was big. I think there's also, this whole 10-minute section was also when, uh, Primoz Roglic, you can see here, he's not on the front here because there's a lot more changes in power. And then here, it's a lot smoother and he's definitely on the front. Um, but yeah, you can see definitely that 
uh, Rog Roglic was on the front and really drilling it as well, and they were doing like close to eighteen hundred van, which is bonkers. Um, and six point four watts per kilo, which is pretty crazy. So we look in the wheel, when I think you know he's still doing six point four nine percent. So I think that goes to show that the pacing definitely does help. Um, quite a lot. Guy on the front probably is doing six point six, six point seven. So maybe saving point three of a watts per kilo, which does add up a lot. Um, but anyway, those are my thoughts. Let me know what, how, how you think the race went. Um, why is everyone climbing so fast? Um, on heavier bikes as well than a couple of years ago, definitely like six, seven hundred grams heavier. Um, which is not insignificant on a climb that long. Maybe only ten, fifteen seconds, but for the whole stage, it's not, it's not insignificant. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.